All right, this is getting spicy because Intel is finally loading its comeback plan and AMD is not just sitting around watching. Let me break all of this down in plain English, no tech headache, just what actually matters. So first big thing, Intel is reportedly dropping new CPUs this spring, around March or April. These are called Core Ultra 200K Plus for desktops and 200HX Plus for laptops. The code name is Aero Lake Refresh, and yes, that word refresh is very important here. A refresh means this is not some crazy brand new chip from the ground up. Think of it like Intel taking their current Aero Lake CPUs and tuning them a bit. Slightly higher speeds, better memory support, maybe smoother performance overall. Not a massive jump, but enough to stay competitive. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Intel actually already confirmed they would refresh Arrow Lake, but they were super vague. They only said, yeah, sometime in 2026. No dates, no hype. That made everyone think, okay, they're probably saving it for CES 2026. Big stage, big reveal. But nope, Intel changed the plan. Instead of hyping Arrow Lake refresh, Intel went all in on Panther Lake. Panther Lake is a much bigger deal. This is Intel's next big laptop chip, and it's built on their Intel 18A process, which is basically their most advanced manufacturing tech yet. This is Intel saying, okay, we're serious again. And here's the wild part. Panther Lake laptops hit stores on January 27th. That's basically right now. But Intel is doing something a bit sneaky with reviews. According to leaks, they're not dropping all reviews at once, they're doing it in stages. The top chip, called Core Ultra X9 388H, gets all the attention first. Reviews for that one go live on January 26th, a full day before anything else. Intel wants all eyes on their best chip, their strongest performer, no distractions. Then, on January 27th, reviews for the rest of the Panther Lake lineup go live, and that's also when you can actually buy the laptops. That tells you Intel is very confident in that top chip. They want reviewers talking about the best case scenario first. But Panther Lake is not alone. AMD is coming in hot. AMD is preparing their Ryzen AI 400 series, codenamed Gorgon Point. And guess what? They might beat Intel to market by five days. Early listings in China suggest AMD is launching on January 22nd, at least in that region. So AMD could land first, grab attention first, and set the tone before Intel even gets their laptops on shelves. Now, availability at first is mostly China, then it slowly rolls out worldwide. But still, being first matters. Headlines matter. Mindshare matters. And AMD isn't done. There's also talk that AMD could drop the Ryzen 7 9850X3D later in January. If you know anything about X3D chips, you know they are monsters for gaming. The current Ryzen 7 9800X3D is already insanely good. If AMD manages to push performance even higher, especially in games, Intel is going to have a really hard time catching up in that space. So January alone is stacked. Intel Panther Lake, AMD Ryzen AI 400, possibly a new X3D gaming king. Now let's jump back to Intel's spring plan because this part is easy to misunderstand. Aero Lake Refresh, the Core Ultra 200K Plus and 200HX Plus, is not meant to steal the spotlight. Intel knows these are small upgrades, that's why they didn't waste a big event like CES on it. This is Intel playing the long game. They let Panther Lake be the star early in the year, then a few months later they quietly roll out Aero Lake Refresh to clean up their lineup, improve performance a bit, and give buyers a better option without waiting for something brand new. That makes sense, you don't want to hype a refresh when you have a real next-gen chip on the way. And speaking of next-gen, let's talk about what's coming later, because this is where things get really wild. 
First, February might bring Intel Xeon 600 series, codenamed Granite Rapids WS. These are workstation chips, not really for gamers, more for professionals, creators, engineers, that kind of crowd. Still important, but not the main fight most people care about. The real war happens later in 2026. Intel is working on Core Ultra 400, codenamed Nova Lake. AMD is working on Zen 6, codenamed Medusa. That's the big showdown. That's when we'll really see if Intel can fully bounce back or if AMD keeps dominating. New architectures, big performance jumps, new platforms. That's where the crown is decided. So when you look at all of this together, you can see Intel's strategy clearly. They're not trying to win everything at once. They start with Panther Lake to prove their new manufacturing tech works. They follow up with Arrow Lake Refresh to stay competitive. They prepare Nova Lake for the real knockout punch. Meanwhile, AMD is doing what AMD does best right now. Fast launches, strong performance, especially in gaming, and very solid laptop chips. For us, as buyers, this is actually amazing. More competition means better CPUs. Better CPUs mean better prices. Better prices mean more power for your money. Honestly, 2026 is shaping up to be one of the most exciting CPU years we've had in a long time. Laptops, desktops, gaming, workstations, everything is getting upgrades, and no one company is completely safe on the throne. So if you're thinking about upgrading, this is the kind of year where waiting a little can really pay off. And yeah, grab some popcorn, because this Intel versus AMD battle is far from over.